Hi, I'm Natalie, one of the nurses, feline nurses working at Veterinary Specialist Services and today we're just going to show you how to uh, tube feed a cat. Um, so this is our lovely girl Missy. Okay, so before we uh, tube feed our cat, you want to check for negative pressure and residuals just to make sure the um, placement is in the correct spot and it hasn't moved. So what you want to do is twist with the cap off the O-tube, give it an um, empty syringe and just draw back. So this is how we check for negative pressure. As you can see the plunger is going back to the bottom, close to the bottom. If you just keep getting air back it could suggest that the, posi uh, the positioning has moved and you shouldn't continue with the tube feed and you should give the clinic a call. So that is all good. The next thing we want to do um, is to flush the O-tube. This also just helps check for positioning. So you take the cap off again. This is just plain water and you just want to slowly put down about five mils. So just take a notice for signs of coughing or gagging um, or retching. Um, if any of those occur, I would stop, um, put the cap back on and give the clinic a call. So we've just put five mils in there and as you can see Missy didn't have any reaction. So you can put that top back on while we get our food ready. So you can use the other five mils for flushing at the end. So from our mixture we prepared earlier, I've just, it's been, it's come from the fridge so I've just warmed it up in a warm water bath and it's just at room temperature or slightly warmer. Just, this is just a bit more comfortable for when it goes down the tube. So you can just test it and that's warm enough. So next thing of what we do, so you undo the cap again and just like the flushing, you just go very slowly, watch out for any signs of nausea, any retching, any coughing. If any of those occur, just stop. Um, give the clinic a call. If your pet shows any signs of sort of hypersalivating, so a lot of saliva, a lot of hard swallowing um, while you're doing this tube feed, um, you can either slow down, um, it just could mean that the food's going down a bit too fast for them. Um, if you've slowed it down and you're still having a bit of difficulty or the cat's not tolerating it very well, um, I would suggest stopping completely and just giving the clinic a call for any advice. So we've just finished giving Missy her tube feed. So what we're gonna do now is just flush um, with water again, just to make sure we clean out that O-tube of any excess food left in there. Just clears the tube up. So undo the cap again, put your water, about five mils in here, and just slowly give that over a minute or so. So one thing, if you ever have any issues about the tube feeling blocked or you get a bit of resistance, a good thing to do is add a little bit of soft drink. Uh, leave it for about 10 minutes. So give the soft drink in a syringe down the tube, cap it off and sort of leave for 10 minutes and then try flushing it through again with water. And if you're still finding you're having difficulties or if there's any blockage, that's when you can give us a call and we can give you some advice from there.